इतना बढ़िया क्वेश्चन हम लोग डिस्कस किया है वी डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी यूजफुल वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अबाउट आई वॉज टेलिंग अबाउट एल आई सी थर्टी एट आई वॉज टेलिंग अबाउट ग्लोजरी एवरी थिंग आई वॉज टेलिंग सो प्लीज uh not please take a note of all these points and prepare yourself uh, nacl uic people please note down the first thing is you have to go through nacl website irdai okay. website then you should you must go through sebi website you must go through rbi website all of us all of us then you should answer the questions given under most common interview questions out of which we have discussed today 47 so you note that and i also made a slight reference to you about uh, what is that um, slight reference about uh, say uh, lic38 yeah lic38 and glossary correct that much only we did today now we will go for banking banking how many have come yeah so about 16 of us are there now including um, say first few days i uh, will be covering both um, things which can be asked for banking i mean nacl people also simple questions <coughs> for example there yeah uh, now regarding the banking people i have already told yesterday you must go through the website of your bank thoroughly and learn about what are the different products they are giving what are the different um, digital products they are giving what are the awards they have received what are the corporate social responsibility even nacl people united india people you must know about the awards received by them then the um, corporate social responsibility being done by them the share price of the company and uh, what is its market capitalization uh, can anybody appearing for banking tell me what is market capitalization what is market capitalization can anyone appearing for banking or insurance can you answer this what is market capitalization uh, market capitalization is uh, the, uh, the market uh, value of the company it means the share price into paid up share capital yeah mm. yeah good he has told correctly for example if uh, we go here like this one minute where is the supposing you want to know about this what you should do um, share price i think most of you are for karnataka bank na share price of karnataka or federal bank federal bank anybody is there yes federal sir bank. federal bank yes sir so that yeah, that is the favorite one of myself share price of federal bank yeah see this is what are you seeing on the screen now hello yes, are you see. are you seeing so the share yes, price sir. of federal bank now it is 14530 14530 so now here i have to go to i have to go to a 2023 federal bank interview questions here i have to correct it now it is coming as what 145 30 every day i have to change it like this we must do for our nacl also uic also so this is the share price of federal bank and uh, its market capitalization is 353.76 this come down 353.76 billion so likewise nacl also you can 
So the and he has a, properly answered it. Say share price is market price is share price quoted in the stock exchange into the number of shares into the num not the share capital, Mr. Roy. It is not the share capital into the number of shares issued. For example, number one of forty. Num paid up share capital nahi aayega. Paid up, paid up, uh, shares issued. Paid up share. Ah, one share ke liye value hundred and forty five rupees hai. If we have issued ten thousand shares, one forty five into ten thousand aisa aayega. Understand? So that is market capitalization. So N I A C L people. You also find out what is its price. Karnataka Bank, anybody is here? Anybody from Karnataka Bank is present? No, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Acha, you are there. Karnataka Bank share price. It is 216.40. Karnataka Bank is 216.40 and but its market capitalization is very less, only 75.14 billion. Karnataka Bank people, please tell me why the market capitalization of Federal Bank is, sorry, uh, of uh, Karnataka Bank is less than Federal Bank shares. What is the reason? Number of shares might be less, sir. Might be, no. Number of shares are less. Okay. Understand? Number of shares are less. That is why it is like this. Good. This is how you have to answer this question. Now, let me come to the next question, which I can be asked for anybody, both insurance and this. Now, please tell me what is banking? Who can answer this question? Tell me what is banking? Because how this question will come, you know, they will invariably ask you, what is the bank with which you are having account? You will tell State Bank of India or you will tell some other bank, Union Bank, Andhra Bank, like that. Sorry, I am telling Andhra Bank is wrong. Why? It is Maruti Maruti Union Bank. Uh, sir, it is amalgated uh, with the uh, Union ah. Bank of India. Yeah, it has been merged with Union Bank of India. No longer we are having uh, Andhra Bank. So you will tell like this, then they will ask what is banking. Incidentally, before that, common for all of you, how many public sector banks are there in our country? 12, sir. 12. Correct. In how many public sector banks means 12? That is including State Bank of India and other 11 public sector banks. Totally, there are 12 public sector banks. As people going for interview, you must go through the list of public sector banks, their headquarters, their MD and CEO. Please try to find out somewhere and try to get. I know only few. I know State Bank of India, Dinesh Kumar Karra. Then I um, then um, I know my bank, Indian Bank, Shantilal Jain. He is in um, Chennai. Then uh, like that only I know. You must be, I know the name of 12 banks and headquarters, but not the chairman's name. This you must try to get it from the uh, respective bank's website also. You can collect. Someone who collects, you can post in your group so that I can share it in others also. So that is one thing. And there are 21 private sector banks. This you can know by going through rbi.org.in. There, when you search private sector banks, it will give you a list. It will give you a list of private sector banks, public sector banks. Then it will also give you names of 12 small finance banks, 12 small finance banks, and six payment banks. There are six payment banks. Now, 
uh, this is first question is what is banking anybody would like to answer anybody yes, would sir. like to yeah please tell what is banking uh, banking i think it's like depositing and lending money to others and also protecting our money something like that not bad the correct definition of banking is banking means accepting deposits from public and making advances to others finished this is the broad why i am telling finished this is the definition given in banking regulation act 1949 please note down NIACL people also note down, note down. This is important. I am telling all that is important only for you also. But once you tell like this, the next question. Sir. Yeah, yes, please tell me. So can you repeat that definition once more? Banking means accepting deposits from the public. and making advances to others. Or you can even okay. remove the two others also you can remove. Accepting deposits from the public and making advances finished. That also we do. Next question will be for banking people and this may, this may not come for our insurance people. The question will be, what are the other services being done by banks? They are not only accepting deposits, making advances. They are doing other services like locker. They are giving debit card, credit card. They are canvassing of insurance policies. Uh, this is known as bank assurance. For example, your new India assurance company would have entered into arrangement with some banks. So who will be acting as agents for canvassing of insurance policies for you? So bank, banks are doing bank assurance. Besides this, banks are doing mutual fund collection also for which they get commission. Banks are doing this bank assurance business and mutual fund business because they get commission. This is also known as banking people, note down. This is also known as non-fund based income. Non-fund based income. That means, see, the normal source of income for the bank or revenue for the bank very important point for everybody. Normal source of income for all for the banks is interest on loans. Bank is giving loans to others, so they get interest on that. That is the main source of income. Second source is non-fund based income like bank assurance commission charges mutual fund commission charges, wealth management services charges, locker rent, guarantee commission, LC commission, then debit card, credit card charges, then charges for various transactions like minimum balance, check issue, stop payment. All these are non-fund based income. But you don't have to tell this much detail in interview. You need to tell banks' main interest income is interest on loans. Number two, um, commission on bank assurance and mutual fund products. Stop with that. And later on, one more income for the banks is banks invest monies in government securities and also shares. So in the case of government securities, they will get interest. In the case of shares, they will get dividend. Sometimes when the share price goes up in the market, they will make profit. Sometimes when the 
price market price comes down they will make a loss that is why the name of lic was in the news very often during that adani crisis in february 2023 state bank of india name was also there because state bank of india has given lot of money invested in the shares of adani companies so that's why of course you don't need much more than this so these are the points so far we have covered what is banking what is para banking what is uh, the sources of income for the bank broadly we have covered this so these are the points and now um, what i want to tell you uh, apart from this um, next question they will ask is which bank are you having account and um, uh, then they will come to uh, say most of us will say savings bank account now please tell me anybody must be able to answer this question can you tell me what is a savings bank account what are the things we can do with a savings bank account simple question anybody can answer please raise your hand please raise your hand those who want to answer this question simply tell me what is a savings bank I, my question is very simple shiva kumar please tell me yes sir uh, savings bank <clears throat> in savings bank account we can deposit our money uh, debit card services are provided and credit card services are also provided uh, and we can open a dmat account uh, with savings account and that's it sir really wrong sir i would like to add on one point like the interest rate will be very low mm. and uh, that's all sir see actually whenever a question is asked you you please write down all of you in your notebook you have to analyze it from seven w's any question you have to analyze from seven w's what when why where which how, who, I don't know whether I've covered everything correctly. One W I've omitted. Please write down. Mm. See, you must be able to tell me what is a savings bank account. Savings bank account is an account which helps, uh, say, salaried and fixed income people to save money. To save money. Bank pays a nominal rate of interest in in our federal bank, they pay 3.05%. In Karnataka Bank, what is the savings bank interest rate? You must know that. In Karnataka Bank, they pay, I think, 2.75 or 2.85 interest per annum. So, the, 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 when we for opening a savings bank account, we have to fulfill KYC formalities. By KYC, we mean know your customer. For KYC, we have to produce, say, our other card, PAN card. Or if other card is PAN card is not there, we can give Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Card. Then voter's ID we can produce. Or we can produce passport or we can give a driving license. Apart from this, address proof. See, some, sometimes banks take simply other card as address proof. Otherwise, they want address proof driving license or say ration card or say electricity bill, telephone bill like that. So these things we have to give and open the account bank will prescribe minimum balance you have to maintain and if you maintain less than that they will put some charges 
they will give us a checkbook if there is a balance sufficient for that. And then there are accounts without checkbook also. And in the savings bank account, we can deposit money, withdraw money. But there are restrictions regarding number of withdrawals. 50 withdrawals per half year. And once it exceeds that, they will levy some service charges. And in the savings bank account, we are also given a debit card. We are given a passbook also. And um, uh, then the passbook, we can get it up, uh, updated nowadays by the passbook machine in every branch also. Uh, we can use the debit card for our ATM transactions. And that debit card can be used by us for buying commodities from shops and also in e-commerce transactions. And um, yeah, more or less, I think I have covered all the important points. In the savings bank, uh, uh, but now it is not that simple. Savings bank accounts, nowadays we have, uh, different banks have different types of savings bank accounts. Earlier when I was working and all, way back in 2001 and all, we had only one account. Of course, we used to say you can have in the name of minor and all that. But then now they are having different uh, savings bank accounts. Some bank has for women separate account, uh, for minor separate account like that. So many banks have so many accounts. But knowing about all of them may be really difficult. Don't worry about it. But you must know one thing separately, namely, you must know basic savings bank deposit account. Have you heard about it? What is a basic savings bank account? Sir, zero balance account. Yeah. Basic savings bank account is a zero balance account or accounts opened under Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana scheme. So candidates appearing for any interview, you must know about Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana scheme. Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana scheme was started for achieving financial inclusion. By financial inclusion, we mean, by financial inclusion, we mean uh, providing banking and insurance services to the poorest of the poor at the cheaper rates. This is financial inclusion. So actually, people were not coming to bank because they were not able to remit the minimum balance required. But there came a necessity when the government had to make payment of gas uh, subsidy that is known as direct benefit transfer. Please note down, direct benefit transfer is where money is to be credited to lakhs and crores of account. The one example is gas subsidy. Another example is the recent happening Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi. Prime Minister Kisan Samman Nidhi, whereby every four months, government is releasing 2,000 rupees to farmers, marginal farmers and small farmers. And here, the account is credited to some 15 crore people, not one, two, by pressing the button once in Delhi or Mumbai, 15, lakh, 15 crore accounts are credited. So this is known as direct benefit transfer. This is done through National Automated Clearing House. National Automated Clearing House. This one you will see under NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India. I am entering into too many areas. Now let me come back to savings bank account. So this basic savings bank account, 
they can open by fulfilling KYC formalities like giving Aadhaar card, PAN card and all that. And the only advantage for them is zero balance. There is no need. But there are some conditions attached to that. I think uh, anybody knows about that. I am not remembering it now. Can anyone tell me what are the conditions or advantages of basic savings bank deposit account? Come on. Uh, sir, one is that they get overdraft facility up to up to rupees rupees ten thousand. Correct. Nowadays they are giving overdraft facility of ten thousand. Correct. A uh, very nominal charge on uh, debit card. Pardon? The, there very is nominal no... charge. Very nominal charge on debit card. I think they don't charge. I don't think they will charge. B BSB DA holder will get an ATM debit card as part of the account opening formalities. No charges. No charges. What, what is the two yeah. to three rupees for SMS SMS charge? I don't know. I am not very sure about it. Different banks have different uh, condition. Yeah. Then basic savings bank deposit account. I am having now details of. Uh, uh, I think since we are going for Karnataka Bank, let us see Karnataka Bank basic savings bank account. We will search like that. Are you seeing the screen? Are you seeing the screen? Yes, the Karnataka Bank, yeah. See, yes, I told you savings bank means how many accounts they have. Salary, privilege, SB general. You get to know at least SB general. Then KBL Vanitha. Girls must know about this. KBL Tharun. KBL Kishore. K privilege savings account. Small account. Then what is this? Sugar. Sugama. Then KBL instant SB account online. So this is, I think this basic savings bank is not coming here. I don't know why. This one, uh, SB small. This is the one, you know, where people are not having with, uh, KYC formalities. They can open this account for one year. They have to undertake to give the Aadhaar card or PAN card within next one year. Otherwise, if they are not able to give that, they have to produce document to prove they have applied for it, in which case they can continue with this. And the withdrawals are made only through withdrawal slip, passbook and free monthly e-statement, nomination facility as per rules. No, no, this is wrong, Baba. This is not that one. Oh, ho. Achha, achha. You keep balance not exceeding 50,000. Yeah. The total credit in the account is not expected to exceed rupees 1 lakh in a year. Correct. Same thing only. The aggregate of all withdrawals and transfers in a month not to exceed 10,000. So this is that account I am telling you. That is one is um, financial inclusion. What is that small bank? Uh, sorry. Uh, no frills account and another one is this one e here also maximum they can keep up to 50,000 so this is one thing so this much if you tell about savings bank account that is sufficient now next question will be what is current account can anyone tell me what is current account uh, current, current account, account is business people uh, where uh, there is unlimited uh, uh, chances of uh, deposit and withdrawal are provided and uh, bank do does not provide any interest but, but uh, charges very nominal amount as bank maintenance charge and they are provided with all the facilities I'm, I mean uh, uh, the checkbooks, internet banking and others very that's good. required normally current account they don't give debit card unless it is a individual current account or proprietor current account. 
See, current account can be opened by individual if he is doing business. A proprietor. Proprietor means one man ownership. If the owner is a girl, she is known as proprietrix. Then partnership firms. Then limited companies. They can open this. In the case of partnership firm, limited company, they don't give debit cards. Only proprietor, they will give you debit cards which can be used. And only thing is the minimum balance prescribed is higher than minimum balance for savings account. This much you have to tell. See, the favorite question for Karnataka Bank interview is, what is the difference between savings bank and current account? Favorite question. So you must be able to tell that. So I have told you about um, SB account and also the current account. Now I want to tell, I, I have told you about basic savings bank and now I think it will not be complete if I do not mention about, uh, if I do not mention about financial inclusion. I have already told you what is financial inclusion that is providing banking and insurance services at cheaper rates. That is why basic savings bank account is opened and that is why RRBs, regional rural banks are open. This point I forgot to tell you, there are 43 RRBs in our country and you must know the names of RRBs in your state also. Some states have more than one RRB. Please get to know their names, get to know the headquarters. If you can remember the chairman's name, fine. Please get to know that. So they are opening RRBs for this purpose only, financial inclusion. When they open RRBs in either two unbanked villages, there the branches will appoint bank correspondents, banking correspondents who are not regular employees of the bank, who are like insurance agents, they are paid commission based on services done by them. Those, bank, those banking correspondents, they take mini ATMs to the house of the customer and they do normal transactions like receiving cash, making payment of cash, giving mini statement and all those things. So the object of financial inclusion is to extend the service so that, that is done through this RRBs also. And another important way by which financial inclusion is achieved through insurance companies is number one, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana that, of course, it is not done by general insurance companies, it is done only by whatever, uh, uh, LIC, where 436 rupees only premium collected from the people who are having savings accounts and in case that person dies, the nominee will be given 2 lakh rupees. It's a very good coverage. Similarly, another insurance scheme is Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana. This is also done by LIC where accident insurance is done for 20 rupees premium only. Only 20 rupees premium. If the person is fully handicapped, then he will be given, if the person dies out of accident, he will be given 2 lakhs. If he is physically fully handicapped, I think they give up to 1 lakh rupees. So these two are the schemes for financial inclusion. And another important scheme for financial inclusion, please note down all of you, is Atal Pension Yojana. Atal Pension Yojana. 
this is a scheme whereby those who are working in unorganized sector, those who are not having regular pension facilities, they can open an account between 18 to 40 years and they have to save money till their 60th year. Till that year they have to save money for getting pension of say 1000 to 5000 rupees. So a person below the age of 18 to 40 they can open a total pension yojana account. Every month they have to remit some fixed amount. On 60th year after retirement he will be given pension of 1000 to 5000 depending on the amount remitted by him. Because you know this scheme is very very important because the um, rickshaw wallas, auto rickshaw drivers, this um, construction workers, they were not having any source of pension. So that is why this was given. Apart from this, other schemes for financial inclusion is Pradhan Mantri um, Vaya Vandana Yojana, where LIC is giving 7.4% interest. And another scheme is Senior Citizen Savings Scheme, whereby the for five-year deposit, they are paying 8.4% interest now for five years. And yeah, these are the schemes that are important from the angle of financial inclusion. So I will stop th with this today for banking. I have told you what is banking, what is para banking, what is the sources of income, what is savings bank account, what is current account. I have told you also about what is financial inclusion and some aspects of that. All these details you will get in the, there are two books given to you. One is um, guidely material. Another one is APJ material, something that is there. So please go through that. And some corrections, whenever they are there, I will be telling you. All of us, again, let me repeat, you must be familiar with the RBI. I think you are all remembering what is the interest rates now? What is the interest rate for um, RBI? This one you must memorize. And you must know it before going for the interview. You must, are you seeing on the screen now? RBI website, are you seeing? Hello? Are you yes, seeing? Sir. Yeah. yeah. No, sir. No, sir. No, no, sir. no, sir. no sir. please tell me. All of you must be familiar with this site. RBI, including insurance people, rbi.org.in. So please note down these rates. Repo rate 6.5, standing deposit facility 6.25, marginal standing facility 6.75, bank rate 6.75, fixed reverse repo 3.35. I will explain about all these tomorrow. Then CRR 4.5, SLR 18%. Then exchange rate, one Indian rupee to dollar is 83. Then pound sterling is 104. Euro is 90 rupees. One Indian rupee to 100 Japanese yen is 55.95. These rates you must remember always. Now, Reserve Bank has told that... Um, Banks can give these deposit rate. For one year deposit, they can give 6% or 7.25% interest. Savings bank, minimum 2.7, maximum 3. But I don't know how our federal bank is giving 3.05, 3.10 also. Of course, it has been given to the responsibility of banks to decide their own 
interest rates. The base rate is the lending rate they have prescribed. So these are the things we will study about these tomorrow. And I request you to go through guidely banking material or uh, say a PJ material. Just go through them. That will help you a lot. Besides, always study with your bank's website beside you. And regarding our, our uh, federal bank people, no problem. They don't have to go anywhere else. Simply read this. Simply read this A2023 interview questions. Your questions will be only from this. Just as you had your GD question from what was given to you, mostly your interview question will be from this only. And I am requesting Karnataka Bank people also to see this. Wherever federal is coming, put Karnataka. That's all. But otherwise, question is same. Otherwise, question will be same. Question like say, um, what is your hobbies? Then ask me about Saurav Ganguly because a person's name was Gaurav Ganguly. They asked about Saurav Ganguly. Said the stocks. They asked about 20 lakhs. How will you create a portfolio? Because this boy seems to be a person having interest in investment in shares. So they are asking questions like that. What are your activities in college? Started asking about strength and qualities. They said you have empathy. Don't you think it is bad as a banker? How, who can answer me this question? Don't you think it is bad? As a banker, how will you... This is a very tough question, not an easy question. How will you answer this? Very interesting question. You have good empathy. Don't you think it is bad? What is empathy? Somebody who has not spoken, Varsha, can you talk to me? PC Varsha, sir, from tomorrow, I will not come to the class. You are asking question to me. Huh? Varsha, bolo. Sir, empathy means the feelings to another person. Actual definition of uh, empathy is putting yourself into the shoes of others. Putting yourself okay. in the place of others. Say when a customer comes and says, Sir, my son has been admitted in hospital and I need to draw cash in it. Of course, the ATM nowadays it is there. And what I am telling is prior to ATM periods. Okay. Or somebody is telling, say, I have to operate. The bank, bank, bank working hours are coming to an end. At that time, a customer may come in and ask, Sir, I have to uh, go to my native place. I need some urgent documents. I have to take from locker. Then you can't say, No, time is over. Please go. As long as the branch is open and the locker has not been closed, you can open and give it to him. That you will be able to do only when you empathize with him. When you put yourself into the place of the other person. So you can say, true, having full empathy may sometimes cause mental agony for us, but we must be in a position to segregate that once the work is completed, we should forget about that. Okay. We should not try to carry the, for example, today five of you went for GD. One person could not succeed. I am really feeling bad, but then if I carry it further, it will be affecting me. So that is what is known as empathy. And we must learn to disassociate ourselves. So I am capable of that. And it is not a bad thing. That is how you have to manage that question. Okay. This question they are asking, if you are posted to Kerala, how will you adjust? Maybe this boy is from North India, so they have asked. Then what are the disadvantages of UPI and advantages? Please go to NPCI. 
you search in google npci go to uh, npci upi go through that and if you cannot get that what you can do for such questions in one minute what you can do is just go like this and then search in chat gpt search in chat gpt i am going to search in i am going to search in chat gpt it will tell something which is not 100% correct but okay it will give us some advantage for uh, proceeding with the answer see how nicely it is giving are you seeing on the screen no sir no acha acha i am sorry i searched in just now in chat gpt it is telling what are the advantages of upi convenience then interoperability then cost effective 24 by 7 and it is secured disadvantages dependency on technology too much fraud risk transaction limits system down time then privacy concerns these are the problems for this so you can also search and get it normally whenever i do like this whenever i do like this i i have i have collected uh, all these things and given it uh, in um, a document known as chat gpt are you aware i have given you a chat gpt are you aware or not you may not be aware of i have given you a material like this uh this one for people who want to improve english language they can go through this this is a 100 pages document uh, maybe the same question has been given already but still i am giving it to you so that um, if even if it is repeat doesn't matter you can just go through that one i have i have given it here chat gpt i have given it now are you seeing it excuse me boys i hope yes, you are sir. seeing yeah yes, sir. please yes. please go th i have given to all of you uh, uh, perhaps for karnataka people i have not given correct oh oh maybe uh, i have not yes, given sir, i have not given for yes. karnataka people i have not given for karnataka people so now i will post uh, in our um, what is that karnataka and karnataka bank po i am giving you there please take it n i a c l i am giving you there please take it yeah so that will be useful and uh, so the, i will share to one of you in the end so that it will get communicated to others something i told you i have to give niacl people what is it i told you i have to give in the beginning i was telling something you know um, i will provide if, if you remember something send message no problem thank you so much best wishes ah regarding tomorrow's class tomorrow 6 pm we are having insurance class then 7:30 we are coming for banking 7:30 banking people can come i'll be with you till 8 10 or 8 20 so from 8:30 interview starts for federal bank people and others and some people are having interview in the near future so i'll be conducting mock interviews if you want you can observe those mock interviews thank you shiva kumar what is the point you want to ask sir where can we find the material that you have mentioned uh, like guidely bank material and apj material you are your uh, what is your uh, cell phone number 8413 02 1, 1 minute 8413 02 correct correct last number is 2912 9912 yes. yeah yeah i have given you 2023 Karnataka Bank PO folder. Have I given you? You don't yes, know. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. You have given. If you, if you click that. In that, you are having this guide link. Okay, sir. You must download and uh, retain it. It is after downloading, it appears like this. Um, I have I have downloaded here and kept it because, because it is, I don't know why it, ah. That day I showed you, you know, this is how it will be appearing. This much is there for you. Lot of things. If if you read this Aparchit interview, that are you seeing on the screen? No. No, sir. Mm. When you download, no, sir, it is not GPT. Yeah, yeah. When you download, you are getting it like this now. Okay. So um, okay. you please read this Aparchit interview material. That will do. And okay. other olive board interview and all that. Okay. Then okay. guidely, I think I have not posted. I will post it today also. No problem. I will post that also. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will close with this now. Thank you. Oh, yeah, tomorrow banking people will come at 7.30 p.m. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye.